When Dr. Tipu Sadiq began studying ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, three decades ago, its cause was unknown, but its symptoms were unmistakable. ALS is a devastating disease. It um, kills within three to five years, and in most people, but not in all, uh, the, the mind is intact. Um, and so you are sort of trapped in your own body. Now, after years of research at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, there is a scientific breakthrough. Dr. Sadiq's team has discovered that all causes of ALS are linked to a single protein called ubiquitin 2. The malfunction of this protein leads to the accumulation of damaged proteins in the brain and spinal cord neurons of people with ALS. Details are published in the journal Nature. So this is a unique example where we have not only found the cause of disease, as in mutations, but also a novel pathology and a mechanism of disease. Now a new field of research can begin with the goal of designing drug therapies to regulate this protein pathway or optimize it so it functions properly. I think this is uh, probably one of the most important uh, discoveries in ALS. It's news Joanne Saltzman has been praying for. ALS runs in her family, taking her grandmother, father, and many other relatives in the prime of their lives. Just last year, Joanne lost her 51-year-old son, Rob. So despite living on the East Coast, the Saltzmans have been active participants in Dr. Sadiq's studies. I mean, he has come to our house before to take uh, samples from our children and, and, and have been down to my aunts. and. Well, he's the only hope we have. The Saltzmans and others with inherited and non-inherited forms of ALS have donated tissue samples and opened up their lives to researchers at the Les Turner ALS Research Laboratory at the Feinberg School of Medicine. They are crucial in the fight against ALS. Without their participation, without their help, without their encouragement, uh, none of this would be possible. Because this is not something that you can invent in a test tube nor is this something you can invent in an animal model. However, more patient participation and funding will be needed as researchers begin developing therapeutic drugs based on this new research. Joanne says her family will be the first in line, and she's hopeful, for the sake of her grandchildren, that a cure for ALS will be found in her lifetime. You have to be proactive and, and, and agree that if the doctors need something, you have to do it, because that's the only way it's going to be taken care of.